Dear Rentals Club members and Vacation Rental World Summit attendees, I'm delighted today to be with Alex Nid and Richard Walton. They are respectively, respectively the CEO and CRO, Chief Revenue Officer of Property. Uh, both of them will be attending the Vacation Rental World Summit in Annecy, France, and each of them will be holding a session. So we'll be talking a bit about their background and also about the session and what you could be expecting from them at the summit in Annecy in September. But for the ado, hello, Alex and Richard, how are you? Yeah, good. Thanks, Thibault. Thanks for having us. You're most welcome. So I said, uh, Alex, you're the founder of Properly. Maybe in a nutshell, could you introduce the company, please? Absolutely. Um, Properly is a quality management platform for short-term rentals. Um, we work with some of the leading platforms in the world, um, including Booking.com, Verbo, Airbnb, um, and of course Marriott, um, as well as a core um, to deliver quality um, to vacation rentals. That means um, we have a whole suite of content, um, knowledge modules, skills, training modules, and then of course checklists that help um, property owners and property managers uh, manage the highest quality standards. That's great. And, and uh, I don't think it's, the, it's not the first time that your company has been present at VRWS, is it? No, it's, uh, I think we've been there from the very, very beginning. Um, Richard and I and many other people in our company are very keen participants and um, active participants in the community. And uh, we love participating at events like Vacation Rental World Summit, where we finally all have the opportunity to get together in person again. So very, very much looking forward to that. Um, yeah, and Richard, exactly. You, you've been, you've attended uh, the RWS before, and you, I think you are, you, are, you, you should be owning a hat shop because you wear so many hats, <laughs> you've worn so many hats in your career. But, but today, I mean, uh, you have this very special hat I talked about, C C R O of C R O person at uh, Properly. Can you explain what what you do nowadays at, at Properly? You know, so maybe cover a bit your, your background, please. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I've, I've been to every <coughs> VRWS since its inception. Antonio has done a sterling job actually bringing this to where it is these days. Uh, and you're right, I've worn a lot of hats. I was there originally as uh, Discovery Holiday Homes, uh, a manager of uh, a few hundred properties. Then I was there as uh, CEO of Rentivo, a technology supply company. Then I was there as vice president of Stay Alfred, a master lease company. Uh, and um, I've now joined properly uh, as uh, chief revenue officer, which means I'm responsible for filling the coffers with sales. Uh, very exciting, very challenging, uh, but in a uh, in a industry which is accelerating so quickly and opening up so many vistas. Yeah, very enjoyable. As I said, so hearing just you know your presentations, both of you, right? Uh, uh, Alex, in, in contact with so many big OTAs, big platforms, and you, Richard, you know, having you know, been on the tech side, property management side, or so, you know, knowing a few things about uh, real estate too, uh, that's, that's, that's a wealth of experience you'd be sharing with uh, the attendees at VRWS. Um, and I think you, you know, each of you will have a session, and then start with um, Alex's session. So Alex, you have a, you're actually you're moderating a panel called, called The Brands Are Coming. Can they deliver more bookings for you? So could you tell us a bit more about the, uh, the, the, the panel, please? Yeah, absolutely. I think the, the big theme of this year as we come out of the pandemic is obviously that um, supply in the industry is, um, is what everybody's focusing on. And by supply, I mean, everybody's trying to get new vacation rental properties um, online as quickly as possible. That means there's a crazy rush among the major listing platforms, um, the traditional ones, by which I mean Booking.com, Airbnb, Verbo Expedia, um, and then also a slew of new ones, um, such as Marriott and other hotel chains um, or other new entrants that are pushing into the segment to acquire new owners and to bring properties um, online. So I think that op opens up a huge opportunity for owners um, and property managers, of course, to look at new distribution and see to what extent which of those um, distribution pan platforms can be most effective for them to generate incremental sales. Um, also to have a very hard look at um, how they relate to each other, which of them are complementary or which of them um, overlap mostly. 
Um, and then look at how much effort it takes to bring a new distribution platform on for distributing and, and which ones um, sort of basically deliver the biggest bang for the buck, um, which ones are most additional distribution that they don't already have um, at the lowest cost or lowest work effort possible. So that's what we're trying to tackle. Um, I think it's a special year as in because of the huge rush um, for inventory, I think the offers out there are great and everybody's spending tons of money to market their respective brands, which means there should be tons of additional distribution opportunities. So it's a good time to be in the market as an owner, as a property manager. And I guess on your panel, you can expect, expect different viewpoints, right? From people, from pro maybe platforms, property managers, what, what to expect here? I think what we want to accomplish is a good mix of the traditional, as in the traditional listing platforms, Booking.com, um, Expedia Verbo, um, also Airbnb, as well as some of the new entrants. Um, some of the new entrants have actually been among the most vibrant um, on the scene. I'm thinking particularly of Marriott, um, who's made a big splash and has been very, very successful at, um, at building up their operations. The reason why the title is um, the brands are coming, not the listing platforms are coming, um, is I think that's the big innovation this year. Um, listing platforms, I think Booking.com, Verbo, Airbnb have very much been supermarkets, so to speak, as in they've got shelves and on the shelves you can find anything from the good, the bad, the amazing and the ugly. Um, the brands are coming in with a different approach. They have curated portfolios. They target very specific um, audiences with a very, very specific value proposition, um, guaranteed value proposition. I think that provides a huge opportunity for owners or for property managers, managers to be very discerning about what exactly what customer segment they're trying to address, what the bright brands are that can give them access to that customer segment, um, and um, what value proposition it adds for them. So if that means um, you have to be selective, um, it's not just about mass, it's about targeting very specific segments, but then seeing about how those specific brands match with what their properties um, stand for, what audiences those properties should address should attract I and mean, how to figure out how that then maximizes both occupancy and then of course um, revenue per night. Mm. Well, thanks Alex and you know, revenues per night, occupancy, uh, these are all kind of data that uh, property managers and, and, and owners uh, are looking into right and, um, um, and I'm switching now to, to Richard because in a way this kind of you know um, this kind of data or this kind of um, uh, topics are really uh, maybe part of the um, decision making that property owners have to have at some point, right? Sometimes they have to say, maybe I'm going to do everything my, my, by myself. Uh, so do it yourself, or they will go and uh, have a, a property manager help me out here. And that's, I think that's, that's your session, right? You are, you're holding a session at VRWS called property managers versus rent by owner. And um, so I'm curious to hear a bit about this, uh, this topic, rent by owner versus property manager. So what, what are you going to be talking about? Well, I think uh, Alex just explained a lot about uh, the market opportunities going forward. Um, and I've, I'm constantly being uh, accused of being a veteran in this industry. So I actually started as a rent by owner, a DIY person where everything came in organically. And uh, over the last 20 years, it's, uh, it's progressed into, uh, well, there's a home away roll up to start with. So what we've seen is, um, is a, a massive acceleration of, of marketplaces, of uh, new owners coming on board and also managers. And I'd like to say there's, there's one answer to all the problems, but there isn't because uh, there is such a great diversity of both guests and owners and ways of actually attracting bookings. So the reason I, I picked this subject is because currently we're witnessing um, a lot of traction for owners. Without an owner, you do have no business at all. There might be 10 to 15 million owners out there right now, and we anticipate there'll need to be another 5 million properties over the next uh, few years to satisfy guest demands. So where are those owners going to go and how are they going to get their bookings? And I, I, I'll differentiate rent by owner from book direct because they're both in the same field, but they look slightly differently particularly as I've heard recently, a number of owners saying they book direct, but actually they're taking all their bookings off OTAs. Hmm. So 
they're concerned, they're booking direct. So what I want to do is I want to um, winkle out the, the, the various manager, um, the, the way the managers address their markets. We have the historic old ones, the, the uh, marketing only companies like Sykes, which is growing. We have the Vacasas in the United States, which is full service model. And now we're witnessing a whole new breed of, of companies that are coming in and saying, well, we'll manage the properties for you. What they mean is we'll do the marketing by pushing them onto the OTAs. We might charge you 25% for the service and another 15% OTA fee on top, uh, and we'll organize the cleaners. Well, that's, quite, that's possibly quite suitable for somebody who lives 2,000 miles away from the property, wants nothing to do with it, visits it three times a year. But if you were somebody like uh, my sons, for example, who the whole, my whole family's in the rental industry, so none of them immune to it. But when I ask them how they will look after their second home, it's astonishing. They say, well, it's easy. I just get my home, I'll furnish it, because I know quite a lot about furnishing in the industry right now, and then I'll push it onto some OTAs, Airbnb, VLBO, you know, maybe booking.com as well. I'll do that through my phone. And then I'll, uh, well, because they know about properly, they say, I'll just go to properly, find myself a cleaner um, and operate it that way. And I only pay 15%. They literally say, why would I pay a manager any more money when I can do it myself? So, and then we, you know, we see a lot of these companies, these uh, startups as well. I mean, it's companies like Travel Nest and things who, who have, uh, different business models associated. So um, I think we're transitioning now to a period where we, we're, we're going to see a lot more independent owners realizing that they can actually uh, do this themselves. Uh, I live in a holiday resort and I walked my dog down the green on Friday and I walked past two people independently who both said, oh yeah, I'm staying in an Airbnb and my friend's got an Airbnb. I mean, it's a holiday rental. No one 10 years ago would have called it an Airbnb. Interesting. It's such a powerful brand and an awareness that's happening right now that I, I, you know, I want to have these questions about who's holding the power. Is it the OTA who's going to attract individual owners and give them all the tools they possibly need to actually market their property? Or will the managers be fighting in that space as well as time goes on? It's very hard to grow as a manager without acquisitions to, to scale. So, yeah, I, I want everybody's opinion on this. I think it's going to be different in different places. I don't think managers are going to disappear. There will be, always be a hyper-local activity. But the pressure point on all of it is the cleaning and operational management of the property. The marketing is becoming increasingly easy through multi-distribution, like Alex just mentioned. You've got a good property, you probably find yourself on the Marriott in not too distant future. Airbnb, booking.com, VRBO. It's just your cleaner and your operational management that now poses the major problem. And we know there aren't enough of them out there in the market right now. So it's, it, I, I wanna have a discussion around that environment because I know managers have their own opinions much of the time about this. So I look, uh, we'll all look forward for a very you know, interesting session and some, you know, um, you know tongue-in-cheek humor and some, you know, you know well-thought comments, because again, I agree with you, uh, between direct bookings or do it on your own and get your own bookings on OTAs and property managers is actually three different realities. And, and they all, you know, we all need to deliver on cleanliness and, and operations in the end. So it's very interesting to, I would look forward to, you know, uh, having the, like the data you may have or explain the different economics of these different channels and or what they all have in common. Because in the room, I guess a lot of attendees would be like, hey, I'm a property manager. Will my business still be around in five years from now if I listen to you? So are you expecting a lot of uh, uh, tension in the room? Well, yeah, um, that's the, generally my objective of doing any of these things is to, uh, is to stimulate people's minds. I mean, 
if you look at things like the Hostfully report, which is which is really well done, 140,000 managers worldwide, an average property portfolio of 70 properties. If you scan Europe right now across most of the PMSs, even the big ones, the general portfolio is somewhere between 50 and 100 properties. It's very, very hard to get your business bigger from that point on, unless you roll up in some way or you know, form cooperatives. So, you know, this is, uh, I think we're at a, uh, we're at a transition point here. We're in an inflection point where you might see the market being flooded by independent owners and managers having to do something slightly more creatively together to actually warrant, you know, uh, their existence. In fact, I mean, the big guys, the Sykes of the world, They've got the capital, they've got the investment, they've got the marketplace, they've got the location to be able to sustain what they're doing and grow. But if you're small, and believe me, I've been in this position, you can lie on the bed at night and cry because you're working so hard to make so little money these days. These are, these are amazing topics. I'm, again, uh, Alex Neg, your CEO uh, of Properly, and then uh, Richard Bolton, your Chief Revenue Officer of Properly as well. Um, so thank you so much for your time today. I think if we, as you can guess, watching this, it, it, it's going to be quite amazing to just discuss these topics. And you know, what's great that given the VRWS format, you can not only listen to uh, the panel, the session, but reach out to them and corner these guys <laughs> somewhere in the room of a coffee to ask for more questions or share your own opinion, because that's the way the event is, right? It's really a great way to you know, uh, pick, uh, bring, uh, bright people's minds and share your own opinion also because your own opinion counts to shape the, what the market uh, is like. Um, so once again, Richard, Alex, thanks a lot for your time. And I see That's you in September. <laughs>